Three, two, one. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be trying out some really cute hairstyles that I have seen on TikTok before. I did a video I think one or two years ago and I tried a heap of like just random hairstyles and I thought that today I would do that but a bit more of an updated version. In that video my hairstyles were, I'm not gonna lie, a bit basic and I feel like I've gotten a bit better at doing my hair since then. So today I'm gonna try and copy some gorgeous gorgeous hairstyles that I've seen on TikTok. I'm just gonna get straight into it. Now, I know I said today I don't want to be too basic but this first one it's like one of the more basic ones but that's okay because like I actually wear this hairstyle quite a bit you're basic my hair is also don't mind me a little bit greasy piecey oh so yeah I'm just gonna brush through my hair quickly this hairstyle is like one of the down hairstyles what she does she parts her hair in the middle and there's like two kind of ways to do this so obviously it's like a pinned back behind your ears kind of look but with hair down and I saw one girl do a middle part and that looked really sleek and that's what I've done before and another girl did like a side part so I'm gonna do that next just to like see what looks better and she sections like off her hair in the front this looks crazy all right I'm gonna put my hair up out of the way with this clip that I have and then this is like one of the best things that I've ever bought for like hairstyles like throughout my whole life I've always used like big thick brown hair ties but I recently got these like tiny little elastic bands and they're so good because like I use them once I do like really tight little knots I don't know tight little ties and then once you're done, you can literally just cut it off. And it's super easy. I'm gonna get one of these ready. But yeah, so I'm gonna gel down my front pieces. This gel is really good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best with gel. I'm just really sleeking and slicking. And then once I've slick that i'm hairspraying that a little bit my hair is literally gonna be as hot as a rock when i'm done with this and then like taking these two pieces i'm tying up the front two pieces at the back and i'm literally oh my god this is like hurting i'm like getting the rest of my head hair stuck in it oh my god i spoke too soon it looks like that tighten it a little bit oh oh my god i did that so bad i did that so loose <gasps> all right so now i've kind of made sure that's perfect so i'm gonna take the rest of my hair down oh no okay so i'm going over like my hair that's out and straightening it so it looks really Really sleek best believe it i have actually gone out with this hairstyle before and i actually prefer like to going out with like your full hair out because it's not as annoying like you don't have your front pieces like all in your face when you're out like you're constantly like looking clean this literally took me two minutes and then i think to make this look like even more cute like just to add that little bit more I'll, like curl up the ends looks super cute i think the curled up ends just add so much but yeah that's literally the first hairstyle done i think it's really cute and super super easy like the most easy hairstyle ever exists So the second hairstyle is similar, but a little bit different. So I'm going to, oh no, I lost the hair tie. <laughs> Okay, I got that out. Now I'm looking a little bit greasy. I'm gonna kind of, oh no, my hair's like glued already. I'm gonna brush it all back. And then this is the better side of my face and my natural part starts here. I'm gonna part like this. So it's kind of a side part, but not too much. In the reference TikTok, her part is a lot more further back on her head than the first hairstyle. So I'm gonna part to literally like about here and kind of do the same thing. Part my hair down the side of my head. And like, as I bring it down and get closer to my ears, like my head hair, isn't all tied away if you get me i'm doing the same just clipping that up out the way i think i'm gonna stop using the gel i think that's what's making my hair so stiff just for the sake that i'm doing like 100 hairstyles so i'm gonna be hairspraying and doing the exact same thing combing it like into place making it look as sleek as possible and then tying them together at the back underneath of my hair like so i'm just gonna smooth over that now that my hair is in place okay and now i'm literally once again gonna sleek over anything all right so this is literally the next hairstyle done again literally two minutes to finish this entire hairstyle and it's super super cute again you can do the curling up of the ends i think this one especially would look really good with like really really long hair and just like sleek straight hot vibes so yeah this was super easy and i think this is super cute I'm now done with this hairstyle. I'm gonna take out this little hair tie. This is literally the hardest part of the entire hairstyles. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a half up, half down. Now, Adrian over here hates me with half up, half down. Who does half up, half down remind you of? Legless from Lord of the Rings. Legless from Lord of the Rings. You know what? I don't let that bother me. So today we're gonna be like legless and do a really cute. Oh my god, my. I'm gonna do a half up, half down. Now, this specific. 
It's from the gel. Yeah, I shouldn't have used the gel. Oh my god. Okay, so this next TikTok actually went really viral. I think probably everyone's seen it. But this girl did like her hair and makeup for a, I think, passport or ID photo. And she has this really sleek look and she did a tutorial for it. And I feel like it's kind of that iconic Bella Hadid. I'm nervous. Oh goodness. Slick back, but with a half up, half down, which I think is super cute. I'm going to part my hair in the middle once again. Oh, that was a really bad part. All right, so I just parted my hair. And honestly, please excuse if you see any dandruff looking stuff. That is the freaking gel that I just used. I should have just used hairspray, but when you put gel in and you brush over it, well, this one, it creates like white stuff. So I don't have dandruff, but apparently today I do. All right, so I'm going to be using a bit of a thicker hair tie and I just do this from my ears up and kind of meet at the top back of my head. And I just section this part. And hairspray the heck out of that. And I'm just kind of brushing my hairs into place. Oh, my arms are so sore. I'm actually sweating. I don't have sweat marks yet. <laughs> oh my God, how did she do it so sleek? I'm struggling. All right, so now that I've got half up, half down, I'm gonna secure it in place with my hair tie. Oh my God, this is the worst part. Cause like, you know, you're getting to the final ends of tying and you get to put your hand down in a second, but like, can't let them down yet. It. <laughs> ah! I literally find sleek hairstyles quite difficult. I usually do like a couple of attempts to get it looking really sleek. But I'm going to be trying this hair slicker. I've used this a couple times and it's actually really good. Just for like my baby hairs to make it all super smooth. I'm going to do a second attempt. My hair is crying. All right, so I've kind of really tried to slick that front half. So I'm going to retie it. Okay, come on arms. You can do this. And just secure that really tight. You get that Bella Hadid snatched vibe. All right, that's better, is it? All right, so my hair is now half up, half down. And she does a little trick to add some volume. She takes like a mini claw clip. <laughs> And she kind of like puts this underneath. It looks really bad. Oh no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is this not working? She clips. Okay, I kind of look like a bit of an like, elephant with a sprout. That didn't work, did it? So I'm really trying to get in there, clip it at the base. And then it kind of makes your ponytail stick up a little bit. Gives it some volume. But that's actually kind of cute. All right, that was smart. So basically by putting the clip like underneath the mini ponytail at the top, it kind of lifts the ponytail and gives you some volume. So I think that's actually actually quite cute. So this was also quite easy apart from the strength that you obviously need for this hairstyle, but I really like it. Okay, so next we're gonna do kind of the same thing, but different. We're gonna use a claw clip because I really like this idea of using this for volume. I think it's really smart. I saw another TikTok of a girl doing it for a ponytail. I think she called it like a mum hairstyle. Hers was more loose, but since my hair's already sleeked and has like 10 pounds of gel in it and I can't really do anything about that, I'm gonna keep it as a sleek ponytail and try to volumize it with a claw clip underneath. I'm gonna take out this. <laughs> Don't rip my hair. Mm. Thank you. Can't do anything myself, apparently. <laughs> so I'm gonna hairspray the underneath and just bring all of my hair up together into like a mid ponytail, into the middle of my hair, not too high. And securing that. And in all honesty, you could leave it like this because this definitely is that Bella Hadid. Homeboy's gonna like. It is. Sleek ponytail that everyone wants and it's super easy. Like you literally just use a heap of hairspray and go over all of the imperfections with a comb. But I'm gonna be grabbing this and again, lifting my ponytail and putting it underneath the ponytail in the center and letting it fall over. And like that instantly just makes your hair fall over the clip and it gives it a really volumized bouncy ponytail look and i think a really cute thing again to do for a ponytail like this is to flick up the ends i feel like flicking the ends is something i love to do it adds so much but it's such a little detail yes, Gaga, you look so good. like you can't tell me that's not so cute and yeah that is the little sleek ponytail voluminous moment complete <laughs> Next, I'm going to do something I've been seeing everywhere. I've seen a heap of different girls do this hairstyle and it's kind of crazy. So basically, I'm gonna have my hair like this, but I need like two little strands from up here. I know I've never done this ever. My hair's so stuck to my head. 
I can't. My hair's like stuck. I want to rip it out. But Joel really cursed me. Oh my god. Okay, I know you're probably thinking like, what are you actually doing? But all of these girls seem to have these little pieces from the middle of their head hanging down and it does look cute in the end. Just not now. Some people braid these little pieces. Some people curl them. Some people keep them straight. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I have them out. So I'm just going to, once again, tie the rest of my hair up apart from those two strands into like the top middle of my head. So a little bit more high. Again, trying to get that sleek look. All right, and then I don't know if they claw clip their hair or if they do it in a bun. Put it in a bun. Put it in a bun. I don't know how they do it, but they get like that spiky effect at the top. Mine just look like little tree sprouts right now. All right, so with a little hair tie, I'm just gonna twist this around like three times, leaving a bit at the top. So when it gets to the top, I'm stopping. I look like a little character, like what is this hair? Okay, and then theirs looks really cool and spiky. So since I curled the ends, I'll try and like... <laughs> <laughs> like this? How am I gonna fix this? What do I do? Should I claw clip it? Do this tighter and take less of this hanging out. Alright, I'm trying again. Yeah, like that, like that. That's enough. Does it look cute straight or does it look weird straight? Like I see the vision, but I feel no, like the like... vision is not visioning on me. I don't know how these girls look so cute with their freaking little spikes. I don't know what's going on with my spikes. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this is the hairstyle. This one's kind of failed, but if you want to try it, you do that. I just don't think it's for me. I'm... This is the finished hairstyle. I have this hairstyle done. I'm going to move and do another kind of bun hairstyle. I've been seeing this hairstyle and I'm afraid it might be another failure because I have tried to do this before. And for some reason, I found it really difficult. So I'm just taking those two long pieces and securing them in my ponytail. But I'm trying to do more of like a high ponytail at the top of my head. And I think there are a number of ways you can do this to give like kind of the same effect. One of the girls uses little butterfly clips and does little curls. That's a bit too hard for me. So instead, I'm going to be putting my hair in a bun doing the same kind of thing and curling the top section so it looks like a curly sleek kind of bun situation i'm gonna be twisting my hair i think three times but doing like a tight bun and then we're done no i'm taking like the leftover and always making sure when i tie off the bun that my leftover hair is sitting at the top of my head and i'm kind of sectioning this into two <laughs> i'm gonna try and curl these pieces why does everything look good on other people? But not me. I'm gonna try and pull these strands more so I can pull them a little bit more. Kind of cute, but also no. And I'm curling like away. It looked really cute on her. <laughs> look how good that looks. Okay, wait, no. I'm trying again because I don't give up. All right, I'm trying again, people. Instead, I'm gonna claw clip it. I can't do this hairstyle. I'm trying again because I don't give up. All right, you know what? Skip that hairstyle, but I wanted to mention it because it's really cute. I just, I can't. I can't do it. It just doesn't work for me. It does not look cute, but yeah. So next I'm going to do a hairstyle that I know I can actually do. I'm going to bring my hair down. I'm sectioning my like top front pieces into little squares on each side like this. I'm just securing that with one of my teeny weeny little hair ties. Okay, and I'm doing the same for this side. Okay, so now that I have my two little pieces, you could leave it like this. I'll show you the two things that I have done before. One of these I've seen on TikTok, but I'm going to give you both kind of options. Okay, so one option is to curl it just with your straightener like this. And it looks really crazy, but it settles. You just got to kind of hold it down for a little while and it'll drop. I'm doing the same for this side, curling away. Like that's it. I literally think that is so cute and super easy. Obviously, I would let the curls drop a bit more. This one's gone a bit crazy on this side, but it's like takes me again, two minutes. I love all these hairstyles because apart from that like full sleek ones they take a bit longer but these cute little ones they literally take two minutes and it's over and you look so much better than if you were just to have your hair basic and out so yeah this is a little curl moment okay and for the second way you can do this this is the one that i saw on tiktok you do that exactly that and then you just braid or plait, as i would say these little sections usually if i was to do plaits i would take a little bit more hair so it's a bit more thick of a plait and then I secure about halfway down like around up to my chin tie that up and since I've already curled the bottoms I don't need to redo that because my hair's already burning off clearly with all this hairspray in it that is just like super easy super cute just plaited halfway down to about my chin and then leaving the rest curled I'm gonna start on this side but I think like that little curl just adds so much more it just makes the hairstyle look more interesting but I feel like this hairstyle kind of makes me feel like an ant but apart from that I really like it all right so now that I've gotten down to the same length 
length i'm securing that once again why am i struggling it's these nails and then yeah that's literally it again super easy obviously with just curling it it's a lot more faster i feel like i can be a bit of a perfectionist with the braids not today though i've done it better trust me but i just think that this is a super cute look and it just adds so much <laughs> So next hairstyle. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna take out these, but I'm gonna keep these little pieces right here. Now this girl, I've probably used like a hundred of her TikToks in this video because she does really cute, like simple Instagram baddie hair tutorials. So definitely make sure to check her out. But I'm gonna do the same as what I did here. So behind, make another little square. I'm just doing it with my finger, just like this. But before I tie this square in place, I'm taking the hair on the opposite side and pulling it over like that, making sure it's all brushed and neat and then just securing that all together all right so i'm gonna create an exact same size square on the other side and do the exact same thing as i did on this side so grab the front piece and bring it over and crisscross and tie oh my god this is actually cute i've never done this and this is just so simple but it looks like so intricate it looks like he tried hard but it's so easy and that's super cute because now i have a little crisscross moment at the front and it adds a little bit of volume with these pieces these little ponytail pieces I'm actually going over and straightening them because I think it's cuter without the curl like just with a sleek straight look again That's it like so simple, but so cute. It just gives that little bit of the film I feel like a 90s pop song. But yeah, this is the hat So I'm taking out these little hair ties, which is actually quite a struggle. Okay, so next, whoa. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a bubble style bun situation that I saw again, obviously on TikTok. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replicate again these squares, but into like lower sections. I'm gonna tie a bubble here. I'm just gonna bubble like kind of the whole way down to where it gets to behind my ear. It's like that. And I'm gonna replicate on this side. Just ignore how this looks. It will look cute, I promise you. Well, I promise that for the other hairstyles and some of them were questionable so sectioned into a square and just tying that up my arms are getting kind of sore but we only have one more side of bubbling to go okay so now that i have my four bubbles and they look crazy i'm gonna kind of section these all together just so they're in place and out of the way so i'm just sectioning my hair up into a very sleek low ponytail and tying that up and spraying it down and combing it into place all right and then with the bubbles i've taken them down and i'm going to tie them back and secure them all together underneath with one hair tie you're just tying them all up and then that's kind of like how the front's supposed to be she did a little bun i think ponytail's more my vibe but yeah here is a little bubble ponytail <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do one last hairstyle. So I'm just gonna take these out. But yeah, the girl in the TikTok, she has more like space buns. But I think I'm gonna do piggy tails because that's more my vibe. All right, so now that my hair is out and it's literally as crunchy as ever, oh my God. All right, so I'm gonna be doing a zigzag part again. I have never done this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of struggling because I've never done this, but I kind of see it. I kind of have like a zigzag <laughs> down the side of my head. Now, usually I do that more middle, but I feel like because it is zigzag, I kind of want like more of a side part kind of look. And then and she takes the little strands. I don't know how I feel about the little strands, but since it's in the look, I will separate them. All right, and then I'm gonna tie my hair up into piggy tails, which is quite simple. I think the most hardest part about this hairstyle is the little zigzag moment. I'm getting my lovely boyfriend to hold my strands out the way, and I'm just securing the hair underneath into little piggies. <laughs> this is crazy. So now I can just take these two little strands and put them on the side. My arms, oh my God, are so sore. Then I'm gonna take the rest of my hair on the opposite side and secure that up and now that i have my two little piggy tails i'm taking my sections and bringing them to the front just straightening them to make sure they're in place and there we have my crazy piggy tail zigzag moment and this is a crazy crazy hairstyle i don't know if i would wear this out but yeah this is the finished hairstyle <laughs> Yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this little TikTok hairstyle trend video. I really enjoyed trying all of these new hairstyles because a few of them I have tried before, a few of them I haven't. Some like these are a little bit different for me. Maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't wear them again, but a majority of them I'm obsessed with and I do wear a lot of the time. I hope this might've given you guys some ideas of new hairstyles you can try out. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.